Okay then guys, what is going on? Cloud Place here and welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're inside of Diablo 4 where it is a bloody mess right now just before the season drops tomorrow. This is absolutely insane. There are deficiencies, bugs, problems and so many issues with the latest patch that has just released of 1.1.0. Now get the comment section fired up for this one. I want to know what you guys are thinking of the latest patch. We're going to go through a load of information from you guys on the Reddit and also some official notices from Adam. Fletcher, the community manager in the community. Let's dive on in. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. Also, make sure you check out our sponsor, Advanced GG, the number one clinically proven energy supplement on the market. With that being said, though, let's dive on in. If you use code CLOUD, now, if you use code CLOUD at checkout, you'll get yourself a cheeky discount. The link is down in the description. Go and check it out. That being said, though, let's dive on in to see what's going on. Now, this post has gone absolutely mental over on the Reddit with nearly 18,000 upvotes. And I'm even going to pop one on there myself. And rewards coming out of the back end of this bloody thing. With patch point 1.1 is essentially a slowdown to every single part of the game. All classes are nerfed. No reduction in enhancement costs. Hell tides are slow. Boosting is nerfed to the absolute ground. Doing content other than Nightmare Dungeons is nerfed. Experience bonus for killing monsters or higher level nerfed by around 90%. Crit and vulnerable damage nerfed 17 and 40 respectively, not counting the nerf to the inherent affixes to certain weapons. It is not like this game was lightning fast to begin with, but now it's a proper slog. Now, I could not agree more. We only managed to get through some of the patch notes on yesterday's video. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you go and take a look. But this is absolutely mental, and the community are running rampant with this one. As you can see by the post, this has had so many different rewards and upvotes. The comment section is on fire, because all they have done is essentially slammed the brakes on the game just before Season 1, which makes no no sense at all. The timing on this is absolutely horrendous. The way that they've executed it and the way that it's been projected is again absolutely horrendous and they have done such a poor job on hitting this big one right here. 6,600 words of a patch note and they have absolutely obliterated the game. Now some of the issues that are in right now as you can see a post right here on twitter states seeing a lot of reports in discord that cinder drops in hell ties are significantly down from where they were before the patch even the change of objects having a chance to drop them intended or a bug now adam fletcher actually states yeah the team is looking into it and we managed to get a bit of an update on that as well as somebody posted did the 250 chest and this is all i got plus it feels like monsters don't drop enough cinders and Adam says, yeah, it's a bug that we will be fixing in our first hotfix. So the fix for that is coming, but I feel like that's just the tip of the iceberg with this one. We have got so much that is going wrong right now, and uh, we have been getting feedback left, right, and center. Now, Adam actually posted up a tweet with over half a million views on it saying... We have been hearing feedback from players regarding some of our changes in 1.1.0 for Diablo 4. We are going to have a campfire chat later this week on Friday to talk more about it. We will have more details timing in the next day. Thanks again for the feedback. Now we'll make sure that we give you guys the exact day and time that this actually goes live with the campfire chat. But I'm not too sure how they're going to defend themselves on this one. I feel like this is going to be a very, very messy campfire chat. There's going to be a lot to go through because realistically they have slammed so much down. One of which they have absolutely obliterated actually happens to be the Sorcerer. Now there's a post right here from PC Gamer that states Diablo 4's latest patch kicks in weakest class while it's down. For no discernible reason, Blizzard have nerfed Sorcerers, the weakest class in Diablo 4, and given them almost no meaningful buffs to compensate. Now, I wouldn't say it's the weakest class. I mean, maybe that's down to your personal opinion. Uh, my mate Jay is a Sorcerer, and he has an absolutely obliterating build. It's not a meta build, and it seems to work pretty damn well. But the new preseason patch attempts to flatten the most overpowered builds by taking a hammer to the most core stats and skills that they rely on. Every single endgame sorcerer build using burning damage to make their enemies prone to critical strikes, even the builds where you can primarily cast cold spells required a single fire skill to compete with how fast every other class can carve through the endgame monsters. That skill, Devouring Blaze, has 
had its bonus critical strike damage nerfed and its extra bonus on immobilized enemies more than halved, which was crucial to most sorcerer builds. Now, Devouring Blaze was the talent that made the sorcerers capable of almost not doing the least amount of damage of all classes. It can kind of be compared to the duct tape over the crack in your wooden shed that keeps some of the cockroaches out. Now, they have nerfed so damn much inside of this game. One of its biggest attributes that I don't really understand was its vulnerable status that has been absolutely destroyed. As we saw in the first post, they've had its crit and vulnerable damage nerfed by 17 and 40% respectively. So they have absolutely destroyed the game for what it actually is and halted the brakes on it big time. We've got a post on Reddit right here that's gained nearly 6,000 upvotes and again an absolute shed ton of rewards, one of which we are going to pop an upvote on there now saying delay season one and fix the mess that you've made Blizzard. Now this is quite a big post so you will have to bear with me here but it's very valid indeed and one that you need to listen to so make sure that you pop a comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys are thinking of this so far but he states the only good thing about the entire patch were bug fixes to things that should have never made it past beta testing to begin with, as well as making uber boss rewards solo only. The rest is completely out of touch and incoherent blabber that honestly makes me think they look up and tried to copy PoE patch notes and accidentally only looked at Ruthless. Instead of adding complex and challenging aspiring content for the players to strive for, increasing rewards and incentives to do such content over just a regular ARPG like farming, they nerfed player power by 50% across the board. I suppose adding gold and magic fine percentage modifiers to each tier of Nightmare Dungeon was too hard as well. Rerolling items at the Oculus is too expensive, tough shit, you now have like three completely useless affixes for four out of five classes to help you brick your items even faster. Overworld is boring and meaningless past level five. Gotcha, let's make Helltide chests expensive as hell for no reason while retaining the same terrible rewards. Helltide Cinder Drops were stealth nerfed by the way, so that's pretty cool. Do enough for your forgotten souls and then never do them again. Back to Nightmare Dungeons you go. Now that obviously has been approached and it was just a uh, bit of a bug and that is going to be rectified. But moving on from that, you want to farm more gold to reroll your items? Unlucky bro, F you. Normal dungeons are completely irrelevant now because they drop F all compared to Nightmare Dungeons. Best source of gold making? Boosting. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's gone too. Let's go. Pointless to even bring up the whole season mechanic of Malignant Heart, which is incredibly boring as per their Twitter post, not very powerful at all, and they make you opt out, aka force you, of wearing 750 armor on your rings via the skulls. You get another cheat death mechanic though. Wonderful, that's exactly what hardcore needed. Search functions, stash tabs, loot filters, density buffs, real end game content, making resistances actually functional, fixing gold sinks, balancing un underused skills in a meaningful way, balancing irrelevant affixes so that they're competitive with the better ones, reworking sorcerers so that their class actually works in the game they paid $100 for. F you, enjoy the battle pass though, it's real cheap. Oh, let's not forget that they said that they fixed VRAM memory leak, but then completely reconnected it by not including it in the patch notes, as well as literally any other fix to game stability. Had zero crashes prior to this patch, and now I've gotten Fenris like five times since the patch. Cool, thanks for that. Could go on and on, but the bottom of the line is I truly believe that this is a singular worst, most major patch in an ARPG history, and the only way they can can possibly save the game, not the season, the game, is either panic delaying the season one launch while trying to clean up their own mess or completely deleting the patch and just launching the season with the previous foundation. They just put out job openings for basically every position under the sun for D4 like two weeks ago. Maybe wait until those are filled and try again. You want to know the real kicker? Double goblins would have been better than this. That is absolutely crazy. That post has had so much love to it, and rightly so. They have literally worded this perfectly. Uh, I mean, don't get me twisted. Language was absolutely foul, but irrelevant to it. They have worded it so well, and they've actually nailed it on the head. And I don't really know what Blizzard were thinking when they launched this patch, but this has to be probably the most singular worst patch that I've seen in ARPG history. 
they really could have done better and I feel like they definitely need to. I want to know what your guys' opinions are down in the comment section below and we may well have a video going through your comments from this video. So make sure that you actually do pop something down there and really go into detail if you have to about what you guys are thinking because I want to do a video where we have the community thoughts. Thank you so much again for watching. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. I've been Cloud Plays and this has been an absolute tragedy. Rest in peace, Diablo 4. Appreciate your faces and I'll see you in the clouds. Thank you.